सो इन दिस लेक्चर वी विल कंटिन्यू द यूज ऑफ आरबी टू एलिमेंट एंड वी विल नो हाउ टू क्रिएट बोल्ड कनेक्शन बिटवीन टू बॉडीज सो वेन एवर वी हैव ए बिग असेंबली एंड मल्टीपल बॉडीज वी नीड टू कनेक्ट दैम यूजिंग द बोल्ड कनेक्शन एंड ऑल्सो इन रियल लाइफ दे आर कनेक्टेड यूजिंग द बोल्ड सो इन हाइपर मैश दे इज एन ऑप्शन टू क्रिएट बोल्ड सेपरेटली सो लेट से आई विल ओपन अप ए फाइल सो फर्स्ट वन इज लेट्स ए वी हैव टू शीट्स सो आई हैव नॉट प्रोवाइडेड द थिंगनेस टू दीज टू शीट्स बट हेयर यू कैन सी वी हैव ए शीट वन एंड शीट टू एंड दीज टू शीट्स आर कनेक्टेड बाई ए बोल्ट कनेक्शन नाउ टू क्रिएट द बोल्ट वन वे इज दैट वी कैन क्रिएट ए थ्री डी मैश ऑफ द थ्री डी बोल्ट बट दैट इज गोइंग टू टेक ए लॉड ऑफ टाइम एंड ऑल्सो द नंबर ऑफ नोट्स एंड एलिमेंट विल बी सिग्निफिकेंटली हायर so to do this in hyper mesh we have a different option to creating the bolt connection so here let's say i have two these two plates so you can see for these two plates a circular hole has been provided and a bolt will be created here so to do this first of all we need to create a washer around the circular holes and then let's say i will isolate the plate one let's say isolate only and here i will create one more collector that is rigid one okay now here i will have to create a rigid connection around this washer so shift plus f2 i don't want this node here clear all for this i will go to rigid option here and then go to nodes okay node here is like calculate make sure everything is checked here now we need to select the nodes around the washer so for this hold down the shift key and click and a single click with the mouse you will see a circular option click on the circular now take the mouse outside the circle and then drag the mouse by holding down the left click so there can be multiple ways of selecting these nodes you can also select them manually one by one so you can see all the nodes has been selected around the washer click on create and here you will see a rb2 element has been created so now i will isolate only the plate 2 isolate only here i will create one more rigid make sure that this rigid is the current component you can see right now the plate 2 so make a right click here make current then create rigid here similarly select these nodes here like this and click on create return now turn on everything here you can see once again turn it off and on now here you can see we have two rb2 element now we need to connect these two element with a 1d beam so to select the diameter of the beam we need to go to geometry or distance or press f4 go to three point to find out the dia of the bolt we need to find out the dia of this hole so let's say i will pick up three node here like this so here you can see radius is 5 it means diameter of this hole is 10 and generally most of the bolt come in a standard size so we need to refer to any sheet here so let's say here you can see m8 m10 so in this type of hole you can see m10 dia of the bolt can be fitted and what if the value of diameter will be to 11 then we need to take the smaller value so closest smaller value will be m10 then we need to take the bolt of dia m10 in case of dia of 11 hole go to hyper mesh so here i will have to create 1d so to create the 1d first of all we need to create a hyper beam go to hyper beam here here make a right click create beam standard we need to select the solver here optistruct or we can select hyper mesh and there select solid circle okay so give it name like this is rename this is m10 m10 bolt okay only m10 so radius will be 5 here press enter 5 value now you can see the bolt now once again go to model view so once the hyper beam is created we need to create a property for it okay so to create the property make a right click here go to property give it name like this is property for beam so give it name p beam and here uh, in the card image i will select p beam here go to p beam let's say this is p beam 
select okay we have not created the material here there is no need right now here select the beam section so m10 so generally the material of this types of bolt is steel so we can create a material here let's say this is steel okay give it the relevant properties here i am taking default values like this go to p beam and define this material as well and after that we have created the beam we can create the 1d beam so here go to component right click create so this is our m10 beam m10 m10 bolt give it name m10 bolt now go to 1d go to bar element now here in the property we need to select p beam element type should be c beam because it can take both axial and transverse load now here you can see orientation whenever we want to create the beam we have to create the orientation that is perpendicular to the axis of the beam here you can see right now the axis of beam will be x axis means along the length so we should always create the orientation perpendicular to this x axis or the perpendicular to the length so here go to component so here either we can insert value 1 here in the y or we can insert 1 in the z for example we can select 0 and 1 here but we cannot select 1 in the x because x is along the length in case whenever the y is along the length we need to make sure 0 in the y and any other of the 1 we can insert 1 so that it will take the transverse direction so for the node 1 I will select this node 1 here select node 2 and you can see a beam has been created I will click on return okay now if I go to this 1d option okay before this we need to apply this property m10 bolt so click on this property select p beam and okay now if I go to this option of 1d detailed representation you can see it will show a bolt here so this is how the bolt connections are created whenever we have sheet metal component so i will save this as bolt one final let's say so you can use this file another way is i will open up the second file that is bolt 2 this is a type of bolt when we have the 3d structures so here you can see we have a bolt here and on the bottom we have a nut so we have not created the mesh of nut but we know that there will be a nut here so to create this types of bolt connection here i will hide the bolt so let's say i will hide this bolt all the bolt here or i will isolate only the flange 1 and flange 2 so let's say i want to create a bolt onto this part one way is that we can create a 3d bolt like we have created here let's say this one is a bolt then simpler way is by creating the rigid and 1d element so first of all i will isolate only the blue one because there will be head of the bolt so on the head we need to make sure there should be washer around the hole let's check the diameter so press f4 and select three node here like this so it is somewhere close to 6.7 means the radius will be uh, more than 12 so we can use the bolt of diameter m12 okay so here i will create the rigid so i will make a right click here click on rigid one let's say so here go to rigid and here we need to select the nodes one by one here so make sure all the nodes are selected so if we select any node by mistake like let's say here just make a right click so select the node and then click on wireframe to see that we have selected the proper nodes and click on create now on the bottom side we have the shank area of the bolt so for creating the shank area we have to select the faces here and here we need to select the complete face all the complete face here for the flange 2 and click on create now i can isolate only the rigid element here okay shift plus f2 
clear all so the top part is for the flange one here you can see the top one is for flange one okay now we need to create a hyper beam so go to hyper beam here right click go to hyper mesh solid circle give it name right click rename this is m12 give it radius let's say this is 6 and then go to model view so then create a material here so generally material is steel here so i'm not going to insert the properties you can do it by yourself right click and then go to property here so give it any name and here i will go to property uh, make sure p beam is selected here go to p beam like this so i'm going to do it quickly so make it steel here select the beam m12 okay now right click create m12 m m12 bolt this is bolt now uh, assign this property to this p beam here now go to 1d go to bars go to bars in the properties like property 1 here p beam and here you can see uh, the axis is along the length that is x axis so we can use either y or z so let's say this time i will select one in the y direction okay so select the point one and select this point two you can see a c beam has been created so if i go to this 1d you will see the beam is going to look like this so once again go to this 1d traditional and turn on this flange here so in the similar way we can create the bolt on all the sides so this is a faster way of creating the bolt connection in hypermesh.